Our next person, Meredith Lejeune, she's a winner of the 15 under 35 competition as part of the Big Apples last year. She's also the owner of Thought Bubble Communications and has really built a great um, business there. So Meredith Lejeune, thanks so much for joining us and participating. Thank you so much for having me. So you're a winner of the 15 under 35. Yeah. What has that meant for you as a business owner? Wow, it's just, you know, I've been in public relations for a little over 12 years now, and it seems like it's just flown by. But to receive a recognition like, you know, 15 under 35, it's just, it's, it's very humbling um, as a PR professional, professional and as a business owner. Um, and it's also gives me a little more credibility mm -hmm. um, amongst potential and prospective clients. Great. So what prompted you to enter that and become part of that whole process? You know, I think that with PR people, we are so good at promoting other people that we just don't promote ourselves. Um, so I figured, you know what, I, I think I've been in this game long enough and I've, got, I've done some really great work and some really great uh, campaigns. And I just want to kind of, I wanted to put myself out there and see and it, it paid off. Great. Any lessons for those that are considering entering based on what you experience and also maximizing the opportunity? Sure. Um, I think that it's definitely something that, you know, if you are if you are in the age range, you should definitely take advantage of. Um, mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. I've met some great people. Mm -hmm. um, so it has allowed me to network outside of, I guess, my normal Link, net LinkedIn. Right. And that's an interesting transition that just organizations like PRSA right. New York are going through. Now so much of the networking mm -hmm. is done through channels like LinkedIn, and it's sure. very effective. So has it been a benefit to you to find out other circles of networking, being involved in PRSA New York and getting that recognition? Right, definitely. It's allowed me to, um, I moved to New York in 2016 um, from Atlanta. So I was coming here fresh wow. and new. So it really gave me the opportunity to um, reach out to people who I otherwise wouldn't have known um, and just kind of connect that way and just build a strong network of other PR people being fresh to the area. Yeah, and just so people can get a feel for the talent that's involved exactly. in this organization as you represent. Exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about your company. How long have you had your own company? What Great. made you decide to strike out on so, your own? Thought Bubble Communications is, uh, I've, I've been the owner for the past five years, a little over five years now. Um, I um, am a contractor and I do mostly uh, multicultural communications, um, looking to expand more into the health and wellness area as well. Okay. So I've had the opportunity to work on a lot of great campaigns with a lot of partnering with a lot of agencies, um, touching brands like Coca-Cola and Toyota and working with um, um, National Black NBA Association, doing a lot of touching campaigns that are, are community focused. That's awesome, and you know we really appreciate your involvement. We hope you'll be part of the judges as a 15 under 35 winner. Mm -hmm. You know it's open to you to participate to. as a judge. So that's a great opportunity as well to meet people who are leaders in the industry. I mean, this award's so valuable. I wish I was eligible to enter, <laughs> but I think that ship sailed quite a while ago. But thanks so much for joining us.